Hello and welcome back to the channel everybody. It's me RP. Thank you so much for letting me steal some of your time. I am really loving this game. Clothing Store Simulator. Such a great game. So we've hit 25 man. We're ready to hire some more employees. So why don't we do that right away? Because I think that's going to be fun. Let's do it. All right, we're going to go here to employees. We're going to get a restocker, a second one. I'm going to go ahead and hire them. And now we're able to get our warehouse worker. Let's go ahead and hire that person. I've gone ahead and made their uniforms. So they should have uniforms. And here they come. They definitely do. I move the uh, logo over to the left so that it's not obscured by their name tags. And here comes this gentleman. He's ready to go. All right. Awesome. Look at this. This guy's going to take the packages off of the street. They're going to put them on the shelf. So that's pretty good. We still have a lot of money. I'd like to do one more thing. Let's go over here. Let's go to store manager. Let's take a look at the uh, shop area. At level 25, we can open up another square. We have $9,000. I think we can afford it. Let's go ahead and do that and uh we'll go over here yeah we've got another square here which is awesome so let's go ahead and quickly rearrange this stuff so that it fits over here now and uh, i'm gonna keep everything tight just for tightness sake because we're probably i think i don't think i know we are in line for a um a new license all right so that's great that that takes care of that i want to paint this up real quick here guys i hope you guys are enjoying this playthrough and if you are please do me a favor don't forget hit that like button and if you're new to the channel don't forget to subscribe and also if you'd like to join us in discord and hang out with like-minded uh game players that enjoy these types of games the kind of games that people gravitate to on my channel which is simulation games and a bit of survival when i can get it in there um yeah so join us man there'll be a uh, link for you in the description and we're chill and come chill with us all right so i want to do a couple of things here uh i need oh i know what i need to do guys first thing let's go over to the wholesaler let's go to brands and here here we are right here level 25 we get a man's t-shirt a woman's hat a woman's shirt woman's shorts a woman's sweater and a woman's t-shirt so we'll go ahead and buy that we'll make a deal we're we're keeping caught up with our merchandise and this is what i'm loving about the game is it's it's friendly it's really friendly i want to show you guys something else i put i bought speakers and now we can have music inside the store all right which is awesome i'll show you what i'm talking about for decoration i bought these speakers and once you buy those speakers you can uh you can have music in your store so there we go i want to pick this one up anyway I think I want to put you down right there, put you right here, and then put you right here. Just like that. Look at that. Is that not awesome? All right, let's, uh, let's, uh, oh, I think I'm going to be moving this. So I think I'm going to put this over here, and I want to pick this up. I want to go ahead and get that floor and get the walls, or the floor. I just got the walls. There we go. Yeah, so now we can have a little bit of music with our, uh, store and it's different uh tunes so yeah enjoy i think i don't know i think it helps with the store rating too i think everything you do all the decorations you put down i think helps with everything let's go ahead and get all of this if you hold down the mouse and just turn and if it hits it it will paint it all right look at that looking good so i think what we'll do is we'll throw in a uh, a couple of straight ones right here and then we'll get a couple of more uh, of these circle racks and we'll get the new hat rack see what that's all about we're probably going to need two hat racks hats are probably going to sell out pretty quickly so let's go over here to furniture and let's go to shelves and here's the hat rack so we'll go ahead we'll add two hat racks We'll add two of the stand-ups. So that right there is three of the six items. So now we need three of these. So we'll grab three of these. That should be everything we need in order to uh, fulfill, you know, the new contract that we have in order to put out the stock, to fully put out the stock. So we'll get that done first. Pick this up. And what I'm thinking is we'll put the hats kind of kitty corner with the shoes right here. I mean, I'm not the greatest store designer. You guys have any tips? 
tricks, let me know. Uh, you know, I'm just kind of winging it. All right, there we go. We've got some hat displays next to the shoe display. So what I'm thinking with the straight ones is we can kind of, kind of put, put a couple like this, right? Like put one right like that. I'm um, digging the tunes. Tunes are getting me jazzed up, man. I'm, I'm like running now. I love how when you go by the speaker, you can hear it a little bit louder. <laughs> All right, we'll put this one right there. All right, that looks cool, right? Right, let me know what you think, guys. Don't forget, hit the like button. Show a little love on these videos. If you'd like to uh, subscribe, please uh, consider a subscription. I'd appreciate it. All right, I think I can get a couple of these right in here. Put one right there. All right, that looks good. We need one more. All right, I think we can probably squeeze this one right like that. All right, let's go order up some stock. Now we're going to be able to see everybody work. Our new uh, our new warehouse guy is going to pick stuff off, off the street. I think we have to have the boxes in order for him to do it. So let's get the boxes first. I'm going to go to wholesaler. I'm going to go to furniture. I, I believe, let me get storage. I think we're going to need another one of these. And we're going to need six boxes. One, two, three, four, five, and six. That's only costing us a couple of hundred dollars. Not bad, not bad at all. I just want to get everything prepped before we go ahead and, and buy the new inventory and add that to our store. So I think now, now that we're getting six more items, I can see that they're mostly female items. So they're not gonna, the, the female items are gonna fill up. So we're gonna need, absolutely gonna need this new one right here guys so let's get that done all right so i'm thinking i don't know how this is going to work but uh what i'm thinking is uh i'm going to put boxes up here and hopefully if they're empty that's where he'll put the goods when i buy them and then i i think i'll have to take them out of a box and then assign them to a shelf and we'll see how that goes we'll get this done first all right, that takes care of all the boxes. Let's buy our stock. We've got some new items here that we can purchase. It should be down here. Here they are. We've got this man's shirt. We'll get enough for storage and enough for our uh, stock as well. So six items, six items, another six, and we'll stop there. We'll buy them. And then we'll go ahead and grab the other six items right here. All right, that leaves us with $6,000. He is putting the stock away. I think I needed to put one more box out here. Yes, I do, right here. I put one too many boxes here. Let me grab this one. And we'll put one right like that. And that'll take care of that. All right, so I don't think he's grabbed that no he has not we'll put this right up here okay very good so he's got two more items to put up let's make sure he puts up the right items i think we're free and clear let's go ahead and grab a few uh items here and let's start laying out our uh stock this will get the stalkers into uh play here I think we have to tell each one of those areas that they are going to be hats or else they'll just stay empty. So I'm gonna have to start the uh, the hat brigade here. There we go. Now they know enough to fill everything. All right, let's see, uh, sweaters. Let's grab some of these sweaters. Get these out here, put them, I think we'll put them right here in the middle. All right, I think these are shorts. Let's see if we can put them someplace. They'll look good right up here. All right, we have one more item to get, and I think this is what it is right here, these shirts. Let's go ahead and throw them up. All right, so that gives us one, two, three items. Four, five, and six. Let's go ahead and approve those items before we open the store. Gotta go over here to stock, and we're gonna go all the way down, I think, right here. Gonna start with this one right here. Go ahead and hit the approve button, and approve the hat, woman's shirt, woman's shorts, woman's sweater, and a woman's t-shirt. 
All right, so that should be everybody. All right, he's still filling up items here. Let's see what he does. All right, he's gone ahead and created a place for the shorts. Now there should be one more item. She's gonna go ahead and grab the shorts. That's awesome. All right, I think, did I have a place for these sweaters yet? Have we put the sweaters up? No, we haven't. So these are the sweaters. And there we go, awesome. That is awesome, guys. Look at that. They are really working now. Taking care of the new setup over here. They'll fill everything up. This is awesome. Let's go ahead and uh, open the store and see what kind of uh, what kind of money we make this time around. We've got six new products, a little bit bigger store. I think I'll help him. You know, I I, I don't mind pitching in. Now I've got help. Uh, I don't feel so lonely in the shop anymore. This is awesome. And so far, the cashier has been able to keep up, but this might uh, change that. Having this type of expansion might throw us into where we might have to pick up another cashier, or I can run a, a register. I can put down a second register, and then I can hop over there and uh, run it from time to time. And I think that's what I might do. All right, I'm gonna to continue to help him get this stuff off the street. Probably leave the rest of it for him, that way he has something to do. Keep him busy. Stock's looking good. Let's go ahead real quick over here. Make sure we don't have any payments hanging around. We don't, that's awesome. Wholesaler is all set. Uh, now we can take a look at our inventory. And uh, well, like I said, what I keep trying to do is keep things within the range of, um, you know, 30. So right now, I think what I'm going to do is hold off on doing any more buying. We're going to sell some of this stock out, see what kind of money we make overall. And um, yeah, go from there. The next thing I want to do is um, it's kind of, uh, I think this is end game, guys. Season ended, new, new season starting soon. I think this whole thing, in order to get in this, this is the, you have to pay $50,000 to get into that. This game has leaderboards. Uh, all kinds of stuff like that if you're competitive i'm not that competitive uh but i really think there's a lot going on with this game i think it's it's well worth the uh 12 something like that and um yeah i'm a, I'm a big fan of this game right now so i think being able to afford that that fifty thousand dollar entry fee is going to be more of an end game thing to get into the clothing pass okay because we're just we just don't have it we don't have the we don't have the money uh so yeah we're not gonna we're not gonna worry about that i just wanted to touch on that somebody had asked me uh how that worked and i think that's what it is i think it's going to be end game or when we're able to have fifty thousand dollars and not worry about anything else but for right now everything that we make everything that we take has to go right back into the business Oh, look at every people are wearing our clothes. They said that would happen. They said you would start to see people wearing your designs. That was one of the updates. That's awesome. The other thing I do want to do, guys, while he's doing his thing, is over here in wholesaler in the in the special design area. We have a we have a new special design right here. Okay, this is I believe a um, another shirt. Yeah, just another shirt. And what I did was I went into Photoshop and I used Photoshop's AI generator and I generated like this pattern. And uh, what I'm trying to figure out is how do we get this pattern on here? And I think how you do it is you import it. So if I know what the name of the pattern is and I, and I, and I think I do, I think I called it psychedelic. All right, I believe this is it, Psychedelic JPEG. So if we load this, yeah, look at that. It loads right onto the shirt. So now uh, the shirt looks a little more natural. So that's what I've been doing is playing around in Photoshop and just kind of creating some design. So I think what we'll do is we'll go ahead and, and we'll purchase this. We'll buy this design. And there we go. We now have this new uh, psychedelic uh, T-shirt, okay? And it's called RP Gaming Styles. Loving that. This one's called Clothing Store Simulator. I guess once you change the name of your store, that is what you get. So now if we go to Wholesaler and we go uh, Add to Cart, let's go ahead and add 60 of these. 
and buy that. And then I'm gonna go back to the uh, furniture and we'll get another shelf. And I think what we'll do is we'll add another one of these. These circles, they hold a lot of clothes and they don't take up a lot of space. All right, so I'm gonna put these right here. I think they're gonna sell like crazy to tell you the truth, guys. All right, let's grab a box real quick. Storage, and we'll grab one box. And we'll buy it. I want to buy more of those licenses, and I want to uh, I want to design my own clothes. I I I I enjoy that. Uh, I think it's a a fun mechanic of the game. And uh, I enjoy using Photoshop, so I think I'll come up with some uh, some pretty groovy stuff. Put one in there, that way he knows that's where I absolutely want it. And that's going to go for 47 bucks, and we approve that. All right, great. They're going to go ahead and fill up the shelves. He's going to go ahead and put it away. And now we have a new item that we created. I think it looks pretty cool. You guys let me know what you think. Uh, my little tie-dye creation there. I think it came out pretty uh, pretty snazzy, man. So yeah, made a five, 500 by 500 uh, JPEG in Photoshop, a blank one, started with white, and then just uh, told Photoshop, uh, create a psychedelic pattern. There we go. We're done. All right, let's go ahead. We're open. Oh, now we got to close. All right, here we are. We did pretty good. We got $10,000. And let's go right right ahead and let's open it right back up. Let's get this day going. Everybody's busy. Look at that. Now, this poor guy doesn't get a chair. Now, do I buy more chairs for, for them to sit down in? I, I'm not sure. Let's take a look at our um, online orders and see if there's anything worth selling. Nine women's t-shirts and three men's pants for $602. That's probably not too bad. $942, four skirts and seven shirts. Well, seven shirts, how much, how much of those shirts? See, I can't tell if I'm, if I'm losing money here. I, I'd have to do a lot of math. What do you guys think? Do you, uh, do you make money doing this or are you losing? Because it just seems like women's shirts, seven times what, $35 or something like that? Well, maybe it is worth it. Let me, let me try this one. This one, I think I can carry everything over there. Let's accept this offer. Uh, what do we got? We got women, uh, a woman, a t-shirt, and a, a men's pants. Okay. A woman's t-shirt. It's the red one. Where did he put that? Here it is right here. I need nine of those. And then I need three, three pairs of pants. All right. I can only carry that much. Let's go ahead and toss this in the shipping office real quick. And go grab, uh, that was one pair of pants. I need two more pair of pants. Okay. I'm glad that it tells you what you uh, gave them so you don't uh, overdo it. I don't think you can overdo it. I think if I carried three, it would only accept two. All right, there we go. $600. Very good. All right, so we've done a little online sales. You guys let me know what you think about that mechanic of the online sales. Is that worth it? Uh, should I be doing that while they're selling clothes and then refilling my stock now that I have, you know, the right amount of people here to do it, right? Oh, so he'll take a seat if he can if he can find one. So I'm wondering, this is the way I am. I'm just very curious. You can, a work chair. Let's get him a chair. Everybody should have a chair. Absolutely. Absolutely. Look at that. I love it. Okay, so I can just set this up. Everybody's on a square, so let's just kind of try to keep everybody equal here. Look at that. Can I pick this one up? I can. I can arrange these any way I like. Very good. All right, I like that. I could. I wonder if I can put them inside, and if somebody would sit inside. We'll have to try that out. All right, store's running. Uh, it's 7 o'clock at night. It's nice. It's a very quick day. Is there anything I can do to help out here? Got some, some ladies' uh, tight leggings here. Now, I don't hear any music. Did we run out of music? What's going on? Let's go check this out. I can hear mu the music's playing. Doesn't seem to be playing. Let, let me turn it off. There we go. You got to have the uh, tunes going in my store. There we go. All right, I've got a few new displays that I put up. Well, this is one of them. I like this. I put a few flowers here. I'm really getting into the... Uh, the building aspect of the game, but I, I'm not, a, I'm not really like a genius when it comes to this type of thing. Uh, uh, the, the basic thing that I, that I'm going to do is if it, if it becomes one big square, is I'm going to be as, as regimental as possible, right? Gonna, 
going to have everything on the sides of the walls and then fill in the rows. But uh, you guys let me know how you do it. I'd be very interested to hear. And uh, let me know what you think about what I got going on here. I mean, I'm, I'm doing the best I can. All right, let's uh, start a new day as soon as we get all of these customers out. Going to be interesting. We've made $17,000. So, so, so far, it's been uh, super profitable. We haven't had any uh, issues with money. We're able to grow. We're able to expand. Uh, uh, like I said, I think this is a very worker-friendly game. Uh, you, you go to work all day. You come home. You can knock a few hours of uh, game time off, and you can actually move the game along nicely. I think right there, that, that for me is what's making me enjoy it. As a content creator, I don't have to uh, spend two, three, four days of gameplay just to get past one point in order to show you guys stuff. So I like the way this moves along. We're already level 26. Let me refresh my senile mind and see what next uh sale we get let's go to brands uh that's level 30 okay so we've got got four levels to go before we do anything else and i'm quite sure that applies to the shop area oh 28 we can actually open up the shop so in a in a couple of more levels we'll be able to get another expansion that's going to be 14,000. based on the money that we're making i don't see it being an issue uh one i enjoy the grind when i'm playing this because as you can see it's pretty groovy man these guys are like they just do it as long as we have the stock so let's do that let's get him busy let's go ahead and check out our stock and this is the other thing i love about the game is i can see what i have like i'm getting low here let's go ahead and add uh three of those that's gonna make it 48 no because that that one is in a in a box that only holds 40 so we can only top that off into the 30s that'll top it off to 37 we can go ahead and add a box here and this is what i love i can actually manage based on on what I'm seeing that I'm low on. I'm in the 30s there. Go ahead and top this one off. Now, this I can absolutely just top that off with 10. That'll be 40. We can grab two of these. These shirts are uh, in need of uh, being sold, actually. They're not moving, is what I'm trying to say. Okay, so we got uh, this. Oh, look at that. They just took some of those. Grab one of those, we'll grab one of those. We're up to 11, we'll grab some shorts. Like I said, if I see the number down a lot, like this one, that's 34 now. It should be, yeah, by what I just bought. I'll add another one of those. I'm up to 15, and we can add that. I'll make it 28, 38. And how are we doing on the new product here? 42, ooh, the hats are already out. Let's go ahead and grab the hats. Three hats, I'm gonna buy three more hats. I just knew those hats were gonna go. All right, these are in the 30s, uh, but these are in boxes of 60, so we can go ahead and top them off. How are we doing on our, our shoes are getting low. Gonna need a couple of boxes of shoes. These shoes are completely out. Gotta keep an eye on what I have here. All right, that looks like it uh, takes care of everything. Everybody should be uh, pretty well topped off. We can probably keep running for a couple of more days. All right, my man, you got a lot of work ahead of you. Where, where'd he go? Did he quit? <laughs> I didn't see him. I'm like, he probably, let, he said, oh, oh, hell no. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's awesome. Let's get a screenshot of him doing his thing. Excellent. All right, that's going to be uh, the thumbnail. All right, so we can probably open the store because they should have everything filled because they've done their job. So let's go ahead and get the store open. Oh, actually, let's end the day. I'm sorry. We've got to end the day. All right, let's start a new day. We're not going to buy any more stock for a couple of days. We're going to run on the stock that we have. Uh, unless something runs out, like uh, like I said, these hats were doing incredibly well, so we definitely want to keep an eye on the hats. Uh, they're popular. All right, here comes our first set of customers. I think I'll grab an online order to start the day. Pay the bills. I think we missed a couple of days here. That's not good. All right, let's go over to the online store. See, oh, this is a big order. That's $1,500. Now, this one, I think, is more reason. Let's, let's do this one. We're going to do 10 shorts and 10 of these skirts. Let's go ahead and grab 10 of the skirts. They're right here. 
me see how many I got. I don't even know how many I got, but I can't carry any more. I wish it had a skill system that kind of let us, uh, you know, improve that ability to, to do more. How many did I do? Oh, that was 10. We can hold 10. All right, great. Go get 10 shirts. So I, I, what I'll do is I'll do an online order a day, one that I think is reasonable. And uh, that's how I'll roll with that. Until you guys chime in and tell me what your uh, what your method is. All right, made a made a quick uh, made a quick buck there. Look at this, already two o'clock. How are we doing over here? Doing good. All right, these shirts don't seem to be selling, unfortunately. Uh, it is what it is. All right, how, okay, we are starting to get a little bit where the customers are, are having to wait. I think of what I want to do for the next upgrade is I think I want to throw in another cashier. So I'm going to kind of move this around so I can fit another cashier in here. Unless I do it in a way where I line this one up right here. And that way I can use that one. Take a quick look at the other side of the store. The store's starting to get big. This is the other side of the street, the other entrance. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm liking it. This is pretty cool. I guess eventually, it looks like we're going to end up with this whole block right here. One of the things I've never done is just walked around the building. Yeah, look how big the building's going to be. Yeah, we're going to have this whole thing, folks. Oh, what's going on here? There's some there's some new there's some things going on. Oh, this is our warehouse. If we expand the warehouse, this is how the warehouse expands out. All right. I got it. I see what's going on here. Well, that's pretty interesting. We can actually see how much space uh, we're going to be able to get. Awesome. All right, it's almost nine o'clock. Hey, he's, he's he he just he's got the psychedelic shirt on. Let's let's get a shot of this, guys. Look at this. You look absolutely fabulous, my friend. Absolutely fabulous. Love it. <laughs> that is so cool. Yeah, I like the game a lot, man. Game is awesome. Hope you guys are enjoying the playthrough. All right, I think what we'll do is we'll let this day wind down. We'll call it right here. Uh, I'll grind us up to level 28. We'll expand the store again. Uh, I tell you, it's just the time flies when you're playing the game. Actually been playing the game for like uh, 40 minutes here. Uh, by the time I edit it down a little bit, probably be about a 35 minute video. Uh, so yeah, uh, really, really enjoying the game. I hope you guys are too going to go ahead and, and let the customers get out we'll see what we made for the day uh you know i'm spending as i make you know kind of juggling that uh invest versus uh uh expenditure you know what i'm saying I, I gotta gotta make sure we pay the bills make sure we pay our employees have enough money for stock and still make a profit and still grow and uh so far so good and uh yeah let's see what we get for today all right, that looks like the last customer. Let's go ahead and hit the end of day. I don't see anybody else. I love that uniform. You're looking sharp. Very good. Here we go. All right, we got 40 total customers. Satisfied customers were 29. I don't know what affects satisfaction. Does anybody have an idea what affects our satisfaction so that maybe I can uh, work to improve that if there's a way to do that? Okay, daily improvement was uh, 232. Store levels 26. New balance $17,243. Start the new day, but I'm going to keep the store closed because uh, my stalkers have to get to work and they have to re replenish all of the shelves so until the next episode everybody thanks so much again for hanging out with me and as always if you'd like to continue to support the channel don't forget hit that like button if you're new to the channel maybe subscribe hang out with us on discord there's always a link in the uh, description of all my videos and i will catch you in the next one ta-ta and bye-bye